Good afternoon, everybody. Let me try this once again. I just started downloading the video five minutes in, phone cut off. But God, take the wheel. Let us get this video done. It was a really good one. Anyway, y'all, I miss y'all, but I had to take time to heal, take time to myself. Have to have my moments because I'm going through. But I still give God the glory no matter what. Y'all know how I like to start my videos with a small prayer. Father God, I come to you on this afternoon as humbly as I know how. I ask you to please continue to put the right words in my mouth. Father God, please continue to help us as we take this healing journey together. Father God, I thank you for waking us up this morning. I thank you for a peaceful night's rest, Father God. I thank you for life, health, and strength, Father God. I thank you for your only begotten son who died on the cross so that we may be forgiven for our sins, Father God. Father God, I can never thank you enough for all that you have done for us, Father God. I ask you to continue to cover us and keep us as we go through this pandemic, Father God. Cover and keep us as we go through these losses, through all this grief, through all this broken heart, through our broken heartedness and all unworthiness, Father God. I ask you to keep us, strengthen us, and guide us like only you can, Father God. I ask you to heal us, Lord, and keep us in our right state of mind, Father God, and let us know our purpose, Lord, Father God. Let us walk in worthiness, Father God. Let us walk and be whole, Father God. Heal us from the top of our heads to the soles of our feet, Father God. Break all generational curses, not only on my family, but on all families, Father God, and let us walk with our heads held high, no matter what storms we have to walk through, Father God. In your name I pray, amen, amen, and amen. Trying this again, I had went in. But anyway, to God be the glory. Y'all, I got to be honest with y'all. And I know I talk about talked about this before. I don't always be good. I don't always be okay. Most days, I don't want to get up. I don't want to comb my hair. I don't want to wash my face. I don't want to take a bath. But I know that I have to. I know that I have to keep pushing. Not even just for my kids. First and foremost, for me. For me. If you ain't good, you got to realize this. Ain't nobody else in your tribe, in your camp going to be good. Ain't nobody else in your circle going to be good. Ain't none of your loved ones going to be good if you're not good. So, you must walk in your purpose. No matter what kind of darkness you go through. No matter what kind of mental issue, mental issues you go through. No matter what kind of breakdowns you go through. No matter how many times we go through grief. No matter how many times we go through heartbreak. No matter how many times... We feel unworthy, no matter how many times we sin, no matter how many times we feel lost, no matter how many times we feel broken, no matter how many times we walk through toxicity, no matter how many times we walk through abuse, we must know who we are, who God created us to be, and walk in our purpose. Stop walking in doubt. Stop walking in lack. Stop walking in unworthiness. Stop walking in unhappiness. Stop walking in no self-worth. Stop letting other people put you down and believe in what they say. You know that God created you. You know that he don't create no junk. You know that he don't make no mistakes. Yes, we sin. Yes, we make mistakes. Yes, we walk through life. We sometimes fall down. And sometimes it's hard for us to find our way. But we got to know who we are. You got to dig deep down on the inside and know who you are. And another thing, stop going around letting what other people's opinion of you affect your life. Don't let what, no, what nobody else say about you affect your life. People are going to talk about you day in and day out. They talked about Jesus Christ. And he's God's son. So what do you think they'll do with us small humans? We may be small, but we're powerful. Because God created us. In his own image. We just got to dig deep down inside. And know that. Know that we are created. For a purpose. Walk in that purpose. Talk in that purpose. Walk in your spirituality. Do it your way. Don't do it the way that people think you're supposed to do. Do it your way. Do it the way God put it in you. We were created. In his image. But we was created different. We was created to walk in our own path, in the right path. What this person may think is right may not be right for this person. What that person may think is right may not be right for that person. But you have to know God for yourself. You got to walk in your own spiritual gifts because we all created different. The way you move and live your life and do things may not be the way this person live, move, 
and live their life and do things. Walk in your own purpose. Stop worrying about what people have to say about you. People are going to talk about you day and night. They're going to talk about you when you even not here no more. My poor son has gone on over to the other side. Yes, he had an addiction problem. And so do a whole lot, a whole lot of other people in this world that don't want to admit it, want to hide it. And want to act like they're better than somebody else. We all got some kind of addiction. Yes, Lord. Mine was eating. Oh, I love me some food and I still do. And I still battle with that problem every day. I can sit here and I can say whatever I want to about my son. Because one thing about it, that's my son. He didn't try to hide who he was. He was transparent in every basis. And the only reason I talk about his story, because he ain't here no more, is because there's other people out there. Y'all have these addiction problems. But stop going through people y'all don't know and going through getting these drugs. Y'all don't know what they put in them. They don't give a doggone about you. They don't care nothing about you or nobody else. Be careful when you're going around. Self-medicating when you have an addiction. Be careful who you go around and deal with because I know the battle is not easy. I say it like that. It's better to try to stop. I know that it is, but it ain't always easy as people think it is. I know it's not because my eating addiction is not easy. But you got to know your purpose. I ain't going to lie. You got to walk in your spiritual gifts because we all have them. We was all created to have some kind of spiritual gift. Like I said, it don't matter what people think when you don't always move the way they should. People going to always talk about you. I'm going to tell you the truth. I know that I got a problem with my mouth, with me cursing. If I get mad, I will curse. I don't care what nobody say. I know I love me some music. I know I, I, I love dancing. But I also know that I love God. And I'm not going to let people judge me or stop me from going to church or stop me from loving God because of how they think I should live. I'm going to live my life about how he feels about me because it ain't exactly how man be saying it. That's why come you got to know God for yourself so you will know when you're doing right and you'll know when you're doing um wrong. Know him for yourself. Walk in your spiritual gifts. That's what he blessed us for. He blessed us to do that. He blessed us. He made us different. He didn't make none of us the same. He don't make no mistakes. He don't make no junk. We get out there and we get in singing and we get into doing all this crazy stuff. I'm not judging nobody because I am a work in, process, pro, work in progress. I make mistakes every day. I'm so tired of going through this same cycle of life, making these same dumb mistakes, making these same bad judgments, these same bad decisions, being in these situationships that ain't going nowhere, ain't doing nothing for me, ain't helping me grow. They don't know how valuable I am, but God knows and I know. I know that I'm valuable. I used to didn't. I used to. And I can't even say used to. Y'all, I'm being honest. I let people treat me a way that I know is not the way that I'm supposed to be treated. I let people treat me like I'm less than when I know that I'm way greater than they can ever imagine. Sometimes people be in your life, they don't even know who they be entertaining. They be entertaining greatness. They be entertaining good, positive energy, positive light, and don't even know it. Even though I'm broken, even though I'm going through, even though I lost my child, even though I lost my grandmas, I lost my dad, all this loss, I have been attacked on every end coming into the world. Like I said, I done been felt down, felt up. I done been raped. I done been hungry. I done been in them streets. I done been starving. I had to steal to eat. I had to steal to have something to eat. I had to steal to have clothes on my back. It ain't that I wanted to do it. I had to do it when I was younger in my life. I done been abused, beat on. I done tried to kill myself. I done tried to kill myself more than one time. I done tried to kill myself twice. But God, I Thank you that I'm still here. I'm still pushing. I'm still striving and trying to be the best version of myself here on earth that I can be. I know who I am, but still I let people that's not even worthy. Well, I ain't going to say they ain't worthy because we all worthy. But that's walking in dark energy. Pull me down. Instead of me walking in my light and my power, I'm letting them bring me down. To them in that dark stage. I have been in that dark stage. I'm still in that dark stage. But I'm trying to find my way up. I'm trying to find my way to what God want me to be. I'm trying to walk in that positive energy. That positive vibes and that positive light. Am I perfect? Heck no. 
I make mistakes all the time. And I know plenty of people probably talk about me, but you know what? The thing about that is I don't care. People cannot hurt me no more than I've been hurt. So I'm telling you, I'm talking to my enemies right now. Whatever y'all try to throw at me, you can't do no more to me than what's already been done. Because my baby is my baby been gone. I like to lost my oldest son last year. And this year, the enemy made sure that he took my middle son. But you know what? You can't hurt me no more. And even through all this loss, I'm learning me. I'm loving me. I'm doing me. Unapologetically doing me. I don't care if they judge me because people are quick to judge. Don't never judge a book by its covers. You do not know my story. I have been beat down. I've been broken. I've been tired. It's been plenty of times I didn't want to be here. And I can't say that thought don't try to come to my mind now. But the good thing about God is he allowed me to go through this healing journey so I can find out who I am. So I can find my way. He knew that my son was not going to live a long life. He already knew it before he gave me that child. And he knew it. And the same year he gave me my son, he gave me my grandbaby a couple of months before. Because he knew that I needed her, my first grandbaby. He gave to me. And a couple of months later, I lost my middle baby. But he already knew that I was going to go through this grieving process. He already started me on my healing journey. Because he knew that I was going to need the strength to be able to make it through. And I thank God. And his precious son, Jesus, each and every day, because if he wouldn't have prepared me and I hadn't started going to church and having my own relationship with God, it ain't even about the going to church part. And I ain't taking nothing away from going to church, but I'm saying forming my own relationship with God. He knew I wouldn't be here today. I would not be able to take this. I'm not going to tell you no lie. It will push me to the edge. So y'all, I'm telling y'all this. Walk in your purpose. Walk in your power. Walk knowing who you are. Keep pushing, even on your darkest days. Dark days will come. You will always be under some kind of spiritual attacks. But you got to know how to call on God and push your way through and keep on fighting and stay in the fight no matter what people say about you, no matter how they treat you, no matter how they put you down. It ain't just grief that I'm going through. I'm going through people just mistreat me. And that's the honest God truth. People disliking me. For no apparent reason. People. They just want to see me fall on my face. And they don't think that I know it. But I know it. I know a lot of who my enemies is. But I'm still going to pray for them. Because I'm God's child. And no matter what I'm covered. And no matter what I'm going through. I'm going to stand. I won't let the enemy take my life. And I won't let him have my life. And he can't have no more of my children until God say so. So no matter what the enemy do, no matter what the text they send this way, they're going to know it's going to reflect right off. And you better be careful because it might go back to you. And I've got to be honest with you. It ain't my doing. It's God's doing. Whatever boomerangs you send over this way to me and mine, it's going to be sent right back to you. And I do know that it's not me. It's what God has put in me. I'm walking in my power, y'all, and y'all can too. I'm walking in my light even when I feel like I'm walking in darkness. Y'all, there's too many people going through mental health issues. They don't want to talk about it. They don't want to see no therapist, therapist or no psychiatrist. But if it gets that bad and you that depressed, go get you some help. When my son died, I had to go get medicated. I was I was against it. I didn't want to take no medicine. I didn't want nothing to mess with my me mentally. But I was mental. Really, I was depressed. And I was going through a lot of times and trying to battle it on my own. And th at that time, I was walking in my my, my my lower self, walking in darkness. So what I mean by walking in darkness, y'all, we got a higher, higher self. We got a higher self we can walk in or we got a lower, vib we got a higher vibration of self we can be walking in or a lower vibration of self we can walk in. When you're in that lower vibration of self, you being all, un well, both. Let me let me change that. When you're in either one, you being in all kind of attacks. But when you're walking in your higher vi vibrational self, you walk different, you talk different, you look different, you feel different, and people can't come at you as easily as they can when you walk in that low vibrational man. You need to push past your pain, 
past your hurt, past your heartache, past your unworthiness, past your lack, past your doubt, past your mental health issues, past your trust issues, past rape, past spiritual attacks, past people talking about you and walk in your higher power so that you can fight against these dark forces that are attacking you. That's why the enemy so doggone mad with me. He trying to come at me in all doors, always, because he know that I'm walking in my power now. He know that I done grabbed on to what God created, who God created me to be. He know I done grabbed on. And the enemy is mad. They real mad. The enemy is really mad as hell. And I got to tell you the truth, mad as hell. Because I done grabbed on. I know who I am. But I still, I'm still healing because I'm still making the same mistakes. I can't tell y'all no more. Still making the same mistakes. Still feeling broken. Still feeling beat down. Still feel, be, feeling um, better. Still letting people treat me any kind of way. But you know what? That's going to stop. When I lost this one. When I lost this one. You can't do no more to me. I'm not the same person I used to be. I know who I am. So I'm telling you right now, I may lose my way sometimes. I may not do things perfect the way the man always think I should. But I'm walking in my own spirituality. I'm walking in doing what I need to do for me. And I'm not worrying about you anymore. Worrying about me, about God, putting God first. Worrying about myself, my children, my family, and my immediate loved ones. My friends, and even my enemies, I'm going to pray for y'all too. Y'all please like, share, subscribe to my page. Thank y'all supporters. they really support me, even the ones that's jealous, even the ones just watching to be nosy. I thank you, thank you, thank you very much. Keep pushing, walking your power. Like, share, subscribe, y'all. Even if you don't like me, subscribe because it's somebody that needs it. Keep pushing. Stay in the fight. You are somebody. You are important. Walk in your purpose, walk in your power, walk in that positive light. Y'all stay hydrated, hydrated, and move your bodies any way that you can. Even when you are pain, sit in the chair and continue to try to move your bodies. Let's heal it all. Heal mind, bodies, and souls. Hear me? Heal your mind, your body, and your soul. Anyway, y'all, take care. Thank God today is a better day than some of the days I've been going through. But I know the battle's not over, but I'm still in the fight, and y'all stay in it too. God bless you, God bless you, God bless you, and have a wonderful, wonderful day.